Hello everybody, this week we'll be talking about the promises of God. Promises. Broken promises. We hate broken promises, right? They break us. We need promises that come from someone beyond us. Someone reliable, dependable. Someone we can place all our hopes on. Someone perfect, really. So we're looking at the promises of God and we hope our eyes are open to His love and His faithfulness. In 1 Corinthians chapter 10, Paul is reminding everyone of the Jews who were physically, literally, epically, is that a word? Powerfully rescued by God and yet they turned their backs on Him in the wilderness. Well, in our wilderness full of trials and temptations, God is giving us this promise. 1 Corinthians chapter 10, starting with verse 12. Therefore, let anyone who thinks that he stands take heed lest he fall. No temptation has overtaken you that is not common to man. God is faithful, and he will not let you be tempted beyond your ability. But with a temptation, he will also provide the way to escape, that you may be able to endure it. Here are some thoughts that hit me with that. That temptation hits everyone. No one's exempt. Not pastors, staff, re leaders, religious or irreligious. We're all tempted. So let's not let our guard down or be shocked when that same old website pops up again or some folks start to pressure us to go and do what we know we shouldn't or we fall down the pit again and we're fed up and feel like giving up. Or a situation may look right and somewhere in our gut, it just feels wrong. Here's another thought. God allows it. No temptation slips by Him. He's not surprised when your fingers find the site you shouldn't be going to. He's not shocked when depression hits. He doesn't go, oh no, He's being tempted to lie again, to get out of trouble. How did that slip by me? No, no, God knows. But lastly, Along with the trial, God gives a way out. And it's always, always turning to His grace. Jesus said He is the way, the truth, and the life. Turning to Jesus takes away, takes us away from the sin that's trying to kill, steal, and destroy. And He puts us back on that way. You know, I used to swear a lot. Yeah, I used to swear with every sentence. I used to be like, oh man, that's a real doot doot outfit. Oh, that's a real doot doot awesome thing. Oh, man. And during this season, the Lord allowed that nasty habit to come back. But He was showing me that He wanted to go deep with me. He wanted me to see where it was coming from. Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks, right? And for me, it wasn't so much what was going on at the moment, but what I was filling my heart with in the day to day. Jesus allowed that temptation to come to me so He can go deep into a place of brokenness and anger inside me so He can heal me. I once again turned to Jesus and He set me back on His way as He promised He would. We pray these promises see you through your trials and temptations and see you through an awesome day. Music